Hello, everyone. Welcome to my video review of the book Battlefield of the Mind by Joyce Meyer. In this powerful and insightful book, Joyce Meyer explores the impact of our thoughts on our lives and offers practical strategies for renewing our minds. Today, I'll be sharing my thoughts on the book and discussing its key takeaways. Battlefield of the Mind is a thought-provoking and transformative book that delves into the significance of our thought patterns. Joyce Meyer emphasizes the importance of recognizing and controlling our thoughts to achieve emotional and spiritual well-being. This book serves as a guide to understanding the power of our thoughts and provides practical steps to overcome negative thinking. Identifying Negative Thought Patterns one of the main strengths of this book is Meyer's ability to help readers identify negative thought patterns that hinder personal growth. She encourages us to be aware of destructive thoughts such as worry, fear, doubt, and insecurity. By becoming conscious of these patterns, we can take the necessary steps to break free from them. Renewing the Mind A key theme in Battlefield of the Mind is the concept of renewing our minds. Meyer highlights the importance of replacing negative thoughts with positive ones. She provides strategies, including studying and applying biblical principles, affirmations, and prayer to reshape our thinking and create a healthier mindset. The Power of Faith Throughout the book, Joyce Meyer emphasizes the power of faith in overcoming negative thoughts and transforming our lives. She shares personal stories and biblical references to illustrate how faith can bring about positive change and help us overcome challenges. Meyer's teachings remind us of the importance of cultivating a deep faith in our journey toward mental and spiritual well-being. Overcoming Strongholds Meyer addresses the concept of strongholds, which are deeply rooted negative thought patterns that can have a significant impact on our lives. She offers practical steps to identify and dismantle these strongholds, allowing us to break free from their grip. By applying the principles outlined in the book, readers can experience true freedom from destructive thought patterns. Practical Application Battlefield of the Mind goes beyond theory and provides practical tools for personal transformation. Joyce Meyer includes exercises, journaling prompts, and reflection questions that enable readers to actively engage with the material. These practical applications allow for self-reflection and implementation of the concepts discussed in the book. In conclusion, Battlefield of the Mind is a remarkable book that offers profound insights into the power of our thoughts and the impact they have on our lives. Joyce Meyer's teachings and practical strategies empower readers to take control of their thought life, break free from negative patterns, and experience lasting transformation. While there were certainly positive aspects to the book, I would like to address some areas that didn't resonate with me. Repetitive Content Throughout the book, I found a significant amount of repetitive content. Joyce Meyer often reiterates the same points and uses similar examples multiple times, which made the reading experience monotonous. This repetition added unnecessary length to the book without providing any new insights or perspectives. Oversimplification While the idea of renewing the mind and replacing negative thoughts with positive ones is valuable, Battlefield of the Mind oversimplifies the process. Meyer suggests that by merely changing our thoughts and having faith, we can overcome any challenge or hardship. This oversimplification disregards the complexity of real-life struggles and the need for a comprehensive approach to personal growth and mental well-being. Lack of Scientific Evidence The book heavily relies on personal anecdotes and biblical references as evidence for its teachings. However, it lacks scientific evidence and empirical research to support its claims. In an age where psychological understanding has advanced significantly, the absence of scientific backing diminishes the book's credibility and leaves room for skepticism. Limited Perspective 
Battlefield of the Mind primarily focuses on the author's personal experiences and biblical interpretations, which limits its relevance and appeal to a wider audience. The book neglects to acknowledge and incorporate diverse perspectives, psychological theories, and alternative approaches to mental well-being. As a result, it may not resonate with readers who come from different cultural, religious, or philosophical backgrounds. Lack of Practical Application Despite occasional mentions of practical application, the book falls short in providing actionable steps for readers to implement in their lives. The exercises and reflection questions included are minimal and fail to provide sufficient guidance or depth. As a result, the book feels more like a collection of motivational speeches rather than a practical guide for personal transformation. Despite encountering a few negative aspects overall, this book is still worth reading.